this is a video about Faiza. Faiza is my Brachypelma homori. She came from the Portland uh, Reptile Expo, which is part of Northwest Reptile Expos. This was held in Portland on August 18th. Faiza came home with me and I discovered that she is fangless. So this video is about feeding fangless Faiza. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I picked her up using the cupping technique. And I will have a video um, coming up soon that will demonstrate how to do that the right way. Uh, remember, she does not have fangs, so you can use the cupping technique a little differently on a tarantula that has fangs because you don't want them to be able to extend their chelicerae and sink their fangs into your hand. So that's why. Watch that video or go to the um, Tarantula Keeper's Guide by Schultz and Schultz and see how that is done before you attempt it. So I'm going to also show you what I fed her and how I fed her and we can follow her progress and see what she's like after she has her molt and grows a new set of fangs. Well, here it is, guys. I am feeding a Brachypelma hamori that has lost its fangs and I never expected I'd be doing this. I had to teach myself, well, out of the Tarantula Keeper's Guide um, by Schultz and Schultz, how to pick her up properly. And as you can see, I'm using a cupping technique. I did not use the pinch grab. I didn't feel comfortable with it. And I had a rather gross job of dismantling a dubia roach. Um, I put it out of its misery first. Oh, did you see that? It looks like she's moving her mouth. Okay. And you can see down there, there's the roach. Um, I did put it out of its misery and I am using the insides. It's a kind of, of a soup using to feed her. She luckily is a gorgeous, sweet little calm thing. And uh, I just got her two days ago. I'm not going to go into details about the situation. Um, it was kind of an accident. And uh, I think that the seller meant well and it was just an accident. So we're working on negotiating something. But I don't want to give her back or trade her for another one. I, I will take care of her. And make sure that she's okay and bring her back around. I keep seeing she's moving her mouth a little bit, so I'm thinking that she's... There you go, see that? I think she's eating some of it. What a good girl. All right, here's our little girl. She's got some dubia sundae in her chelicerae. And from what I'm observing, I think that she's sucking it into her mouth. That's good. And I gave her some water as well. We'll turn her over in a minute and give her some more. You could either think of this as a technical thing or you could think of it as gross. So this is a dubia roach and I have removed the intestines and the stomach. Um, the intestines were full of poop. Um, I didn't really think the tarantula would want to eat that. So then I took a little bit of water and I mixed it in with this fatty, um, it's a more of a, kind of like a custard actually. And I mixed that with some water using a toothpick. And, uh, the, the, um, exoskeleton almost serves as a dish. Let her know that I'm here. She wants to try to dick off. Okay. 
since she doesn't have bangs, you know, I'm not worried about being bitten, but you can see here that she has indeed eaten up the food that I gave her. You can see her mouth is right in there inside this hole. So I've got some of this roach juice here and I'm going to put it over her mouth area. Let it drop on there. And I've got a little toothpick here, a little, I don't know, cocktail umbrella thing. Just kind of work some of it. And this is very thick, so I'm going to water it down a little bit. And she won't drown because her lungs are not near her, her mouth. Here you can see she's working some of that into her mouth. And there you go. Very good. And it took her a while to eat that first round that I gave her. I have no idea how she lost her fangs. It could have been in a molt. Um, it was a surprise. I was very excited to have her and I looked at her today when I just got home and no fangs. Had to do a kind of a double take. Things happen. I'm going to go ahead and turn the little poop right side up again and let her work on this. As you can see, she's really docile. She hasn't kicked at me. Nothing. Still working on round three. Now I'm going to pick her up just like this. And gently, you got to make sure her little feet are not hanging on to anything. And then I'm flipping her over. She pretty much ate all of what I gave her already. You can see that's just stuck on her hair. Everything else disappeared into her little mouth hole. Roach custard. Put it down between her fangs here. I'm not shoving it in because I want to be very gentle. Just want to kind of get it between her fangs and then I'm going to press it down so it's close to her mouth. That way she can suck it in at her own pace. I'm also going to give her some water in there. Just kind of help it flow into her mouth. See, there she goes. She's working. And just remember, I'm being extremely gentle. I'm not shoving this in. I'm just kind of working it so that it's <clears throat> more fluid and can help her suck it in on her own. Some more water, pop it into her mouth. See, there she's moving. But I, like I said, I just opened up a Hadubia, a dead one, and carefully removed its intestines. I actually used a pair of scissors um, right here, and I cut down the center 
of the abdomen, the, the actual underside of the dubia, and spread the two pieces and cut them away like this. And then I remove the intestine and you can see it. Usually there's poop in there and the stomach and you pull it out, it comes out in one piece. I put that in my, um, in my fauna colony where I have all my bioactive insects that I put, well, I put them into my bioactive tanks. That's what helps create, create the bioactive tank. So those were springtails and some isopods and anything left over I put in there for them to take care of. So nothing's going to waste here. She's doing such a good job. In case anyone's wondering, I'm using the LG B30 to make this recording. There we go, yeah. There we go. Okay, here she is on round six. So there you have it. Here we begin another journey. Thank you for joining me and uh, for having patience and uh, checking out my channel. <laughs>